Tommy Vassetti? <laughs> Shit. Didn't think they'd ever let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep the backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vassetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months, then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Hey, hey, guys, it's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nice for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible! Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? 
Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite, of course I have an invite, but there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door, no I way, not I told you, happen. shut up, I'll go myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. No, my bike! Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star. Candy sucks. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? in Thailand? Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, if you know what <laughs> Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Fish Steve Scott. Crawling the throes of passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Ah, now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as if a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, well, the nada, day. amigo. How do we find you? <clears throat> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's over get there. out of here. Sure Actually, you take me to the pole position. Drinks. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. It's so difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. 
Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I'm looking am? for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Yeah, take this. Follow me. This way! you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shop's a couple of blocks away. I'm Amy and you're on cage at Gethsemane. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Cool, let me grab that. Oops, sorry. Hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. You gotta give him a ring, man. Set up a deal, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? Sound kind of different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. <laughs> oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor. Oh, oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life?
dumb Florida moron. Guilty. Understand? Good. <laughs> Everyone knows politicians lie and steal and cheat, but at least with me in charge. No, he's not guilty. Ah! Hey, Tommy, it's Sunny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Hey, Don't sir. worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Avery goes without saying, Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster. No, thanks. 
Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For this kindness, I'll reward you. And then, we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. You're gonna get it in the face. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. He's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. You go away from me, you cheap bastard. Oh, sweet Jesus, I've wasted my life and my looks. Stand still and I'll make it quick. I'll pay you double, dummy, double. For the dam, 71 south, five point. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, huh? Cap your snout. No, oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. That paper for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. I'm too busy to look out for you. The rain, she's très wet this time of the year. Hey, what? Ah, baby. Come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Quiz yeah, imperialist American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. Shoot, Shoot them, you have got to do better, Mr. Snell. <laughs> Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things.
living room. Hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. No the name's Lance, right by now, the way. Hank. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. You must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Go. Shit! The other men are getting cut down! I got you covered. Tommy, I need some help here. These Haitians think they can take on Ricardo Diaz? I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I heard that prick called Ted. He said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Come on, baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Stupid horse! I'll chop your head off! Who is this dickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse! You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up! Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one! You follow him from his apartment. And you see where he goes. Later, we will kill you. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. It is written, chapter 12. This is every day, man, move! Oh, shit! Loser!
Too slow, Grandad. You better keep on running, asshole. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. What thing puzzling me? What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? You hate Vance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that at school. Vance Vance, poor bastard. Where the hell are we headed anyway? Ron Island. You ever buy one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way, though. Okay, we're almost there. We'll make a couple of passes. So take out as many guns as you can. Then I'll set you down, and you're on your way. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? 
Diaz was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... Not so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. Jack! Plastic crap! You're doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Bro, you! It is my favorite El Budo movie. It died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. 
I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap. But I know one day, I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! So Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal, so why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real fresh. It's time for the land Watch yourself! They're coming from all over! Got it! Head for Diaz as fast as you can! Eat it! Eat it! Sleep with the fish! You want some of this? Good shooting, my friend. You're a real proper grade A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Yo, Tommy, it's Lance. Yeah? Oh, nice to hear from you, Lance. Come on, man, be cool, be cool. I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing. You and me, no problem. You know what I mean. We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead, Lance. We're in too far now. But thanks for the call. I'll speak to you later. All right, me old China. It's Paul. I might have a little result for you, but I need to speak to you in person. I'm enjoying a little arm and arm at the Club Malibu. I reckon you're going to owe me a favor or two after this, sunshine. I'll see you later. All right, Mush. I'm gonna save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lance. Word is, you might try to jump. You didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he ah, take him? Ah! Oh, all right, all In right, plain right. English. Keep your party on. You're going him across town to the junkyard. <laughs> Bloody hell, you nutter! My careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you, too. Let's get out of here. I need to be distracted by your privates dangling about. Now, when I go to the store to buy an air conditioning, I'd rather not have to look at your moneymaker, amigo. I'm glad you he are. ends up a nudist or a freak or something. It's a different... Get patched up and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. Tommy, 
Matic Cortez. Look, the French are giving me all kinds of trouble, amigo. Them hypocrites. They spend a hundred years stealing from poor countries, and they call me a thief. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to need your help as soon as possible, amigo. So please hurry. Huh? Tell me I need you, all right? I hate the damn French. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> Bridge up ahead. Oh, shoot the helicopter. I'll be everywhere I look, you're up, right? I hate you. Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Alright, Tommy, it's Paul. I've just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken offense to you acting like the big guy all of a sudden, giving it a big shot thing. Well, don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mugs game, son. Anyway, I heard this before I've put on your head and someone's gonna have a crack at you to watch yourself. And remember me, mate. I got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like.
this way. I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! Eat this, you murdering bastards! You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons, busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle, or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. Destroyed! Versetti, remember the name! So? All I'm saying is keep your eyes open, and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go.
Come on. Needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DVP security around the block. You guys just sorted out among themselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay it to me anytime. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so- I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. Then somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are going to be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We got to go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We got to get uniforms, and we're going to need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we got to do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, hey, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. What do you do that for? She cares about this. Now that got them really irritated. Remember, 
smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! Mr. Vercetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was gonna follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, with just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors. Your lost mate, innit? All right, me old China. How's you hanging? What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? Come here. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the plates. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, they've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks, Paul. Oh. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm gonna go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back, got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right, everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later. Hey, 
the troll. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh, who? Oh, Tommy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think they were very Holy insistent. Pop. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too. for SETI. Idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am gone. Don't I sound gone? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice. This is what the game is going to run southwest Washington Beach. Tommy, it's Lance. We got big problems. Come down here right away. What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate. But as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you capped their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy! I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. 
That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. Damn moron! No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick! Oh, you think so? You want to know all about me? You want to understand me better? Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Your history, you Tommy! Me. History! You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy! Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys, he never <laughs> did a thing. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? <laughs> <laughs>